So here's some examples of how these tie dyes come out. How's it going, Ray? You look like you're hard at work or hardly working. I'm not sure which one. Okay, so this is what I've done so far for my tentacles. And I'm Dad. And we went to Disney's Hilton Head Resort and we did some awesome crafts. Like the ones behind us? <laughs> yep, so make sure to enjoy. Okay guys, so we are sitting down to do the jellyfish wind chime. So we have this, which is gonna be our little jellyfish face. And we have some beads for the tentacles. And so we're super excited to do this super cute craft. We've actually seen um, what the final product is and it is so cute so I'm so excited to do it okay so I've got some paint and we're gonna start painting this little mini pot and this is gonna be our jellyfish head is that what you thought? <laughs> so here we're gonna start painting oh no you missed a spot Ray oh wait you just started I just started <laughs> so I am gonna do two coats and um this is a little see-through so I'm going, that's why I'm doing this first, so I, while I do this, I can wait for it to dry. Okay guys, so I am done painting my jellyfish, so I'm thinking I'm going to start getting ready and putting the beads on these little strings. So is Ray putting on the beads? There's one on, her first bead for her jellyfish is on. We will stay tuned, here comes number two, and we will stay tuned. That's a little mermaid! Oh, that's cute. And we will stay tuned for her to finish this thing up. Okay, so this is what I've done so far for my tentacles. So we've got these. So I have some beads on them. Mm -hmm. So That's, it's looking pretty cute so far. Kind it's of. looking good, Ray. Well, I can't wait to get that tied up. And I guess we'll try to put eyes on this thing somehow. Yeah, we're going to put little googly eyes. And I'm, I'm probably going to do another coat. Nice. So I'm going to, while Ray's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. You'll probably see me for a second here. So you can see the beach house here at the Disney Hilton Head Resort behind us. So it's really, really neat. So we'll take a tour of the rest of it so you guys can see what this looks like in case any of you ever want to come here and have an idea. So, all right, Ray, we'll let you keep going and we'll check back in with you in another minute. So I just got done um, doing a second coat on my jellyfish okay and then i am done with the tentacles so if i put my brush down so these are the tentacles okay. for my jellyfish okay. can we call them calamari okay. <laughs> okay. So okay guys so this is my little jellyfish so we've got the little tentacles down here made out of beads and then we've got the actual little <laughs> jellyfish <laughs> it's so cute mm -hmm. that's so neat is that a cool activity ray Yes. Do you recommend doing this activity? Oh yeah. Yeah, was it was it pretty easy? Yeah. It, it was nice. The cast member here was very friendly and she helped us tie the knots because unfortunately my fingers, I have fat fingers and I can't tie knots. So she was able to help. I, d I just can't tie knots. Like it's hard. <laughs> like, and look, and these are like super tiny so I've been like struggling. Here's Ray's finished jellyfish hanging on our wall. It is super cute. Going to the community hall to go make a Mickey Mouse Christmas wreath. Today we are doing Mickey wreaths at Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort. And checking in to see how the progress is going. How's it going there, Ray? You look like you're hard at work or hardly working. I'm not sure which one. Um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm hardly working. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's looking like a burlap. Figure eight right now. <laughs> so, yeah, still got some ways to go. Still got some ways to go. Mom's doing an awesome job. Go mom. Go mom. Go mom. And dad's doing an awesome job of. Uh, I'm just sitting here filming. I'm not doing much else. I'm gonna. He's doing this part. I'm gonna do the decorating. There it is. There's the Mickey. The Mickey has been burlapped. And Ray, what colors did you pick? So we did the yellow and blue. So this is what we've done. And they gave us a choice for a bow as well, but we decided not to do the bow at this yeah. time. Can I see? Can I see? Okay, let me show you some, some ways you could do it. I'm going to put some right there maybe? Or you could do it like this. While they're working on the design, I'm going to show you guys what this cleaner room looks like. 
It's one of those things about all the Disney resorts is they all have such great theming. So the theme of this Hilton Head, South Carolina property is a 1940s fishing lodge. And you'll see they have a lot of memorabilia having to do with fishing in here. So quick turn you through. Come back over and take a look and see what Ray's working on. Clock. Hey, how's it looking? Okay, mom's taking over the glue gun. And I love the design, right? So this is Ray's design, where she decided to put the blue flowers on the bottom and the yellow flower up on top. And mom's busy glue, hot gluing away. And Ray is being a good supervisor, supervisor, supervisoring us, <laughs> supervising us. <laughs> I'm having a hard time talking this morning. Oh, that looks great, Ray and Mom. This one we're super proud of. This is our Mickey wreath. And we have it up inside our house here. And, and it came out great. I loved Ray's idea of the three blue flowers and the two yellow flowers up above. This was probably one of our favorite crafts at the end of the day. We also really enjoyed the tie dye. We'll show some versions of that. Excited for the Mickey tie dye craft project. I guess that's what you call this, right? Behind Emma here. So here's some examples of how these tie-dyes come out and they look like a little Mickey Mouses. And you can do different colors. You'll see people have done different versions of the Mickey Mouse shirts here. It's pretty cool. Paired with the gloves, with the see-through apron. We've gotten our shirts wet. Yay! And a sea dye. And this is our helper, Emma, can I film you? Is that okay? Sure. This is our helper, Emma, today. Yeah. Thank you. So the hardest thing, Ray, is what colors are you gonna do? I These don't are know. colors. I think I'm going to do, what color do we want Mickey? That's a key color. I, I think everything black is- Black for Mickey. You're gonna do, do black Mickey as well. Black Mickey. How do you yeah, do a black Mickey? Black. Oh, we have black. Oh, okay. So Here. we can do a black Mickey. I think we're gonna try to say, maybe we'll do the same thing. But then what color do you do behind him to make him pop? I think I may do green right behind him. I was him. thinking maybe, ooh, you do so, green, purple, and black. It's like a village shirt. Ooh. Yeah. What color? Green, purple, and black? Mm -hmm. It'd be very, it'd be very, we can wear it for Mardi Gras next year. Totally. Okay, so here we go. We're all going to start, I think, the same way. All right, so I'm starting with black, green, purple, yellow. I'm going for a bit of a Mardi Gras theme. So I think you can wear this for Mardi Gras next year. Ray is going for black, blue, and purple. Mom's got black, blue, purple, Well, I'm black. not doing a pattern. You're not doing a pattern? You're just going to go crazy yeah, on it? Go. Cool. I think Ray's just going to go crazy. I think I may go crazy after I get these first couple done Mardi gras looking. And then I'll go from there. So here we go. My tie-dye is done. You can see the crazy mess I made. So I went from black to green to purple to kind of a yellow to black. To green. And you'll see... I was trying to go for a bit of a Mardi Gras theme, so we'll see if it comes out or not. Ray's doing a green. rainbow, and hers is looking really good. So what do you need green. next? Green. green. I've got green right here, so we're delivering Ray the green. Green's next. Can I twist it, please? Ooh. Okay, Ray, let's take a quick look. Give us a tour of your tie-dyed shirt. So I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, the rainbow. And then I, have, I had a few extra spaces, so I did yellow, purple, blue, and then, of course, black for the Mickey. Awesome. I love it. And look at the pattern <laughs> on the paper towel underneath. It's really cool, too. That's cool. Oh, no. It's blood. <laughs> awesome, Ray. So here's our finished products for the tie-dyed shirts. Here's Dad's. It's kind of bled around the outside. I think I used maybe a little too much of the black color just for those who are, who are doing this. Here's Ray's. Ray used a little less of the black, but it came out really cool. It's very modern art looking, maybe like a Pollock or something. It's pretty awesome. I love her shirt. And here's Mom's, which came out really well too. And you can really see that design. It almost was like a heart around the Mickey. So that's all three of our shirts that we did uh, while we were in Hilton Head. Okay, guys. So I think my 
favorite part about doing all the crafts, and my favorite craft was probably the jellyfish. It turned out so cute, and I just, I love it. I think that was probably one of my favorite ones too, and it's actually the first one we did. Yes. Um, out of out of all the different ones we did. Now note that they do. Uh, there is a charge for them for the materials and the time for the people. But I think the most expensive one was actually I think this one, the Mickey wreath was thirty five, and that was the most expensive one that that we did, and it was well worth it. We really enjoyed it. Yep. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And once you subscribe, press the bell for notifications so you know when we upload a new video. And most of all, enjoy. Thank you.